Good evening, Victory Tribe, and welcome to Victory Now. My name is Michelle Repke, and I am so excited to be back here with you tonight. And tonight, I'm going to continue in what we were talking about last week. If you weren't here, I went over the disadvantages of unforgiveness and brought out how the Lord showed me that unforgiveness was actually uh, a place to where in my heart I was caging the other person inside of me rather than keeping them away from me unforgiveness was actually keeping them closer to me and that forgiveness was not that I was releasing them back into my life but actually releasing them out of my soul so that I could stay in a place of receiving his promises and so tonight I want to further this with you and I want to go into how we allow forgiveness to reign in our hearts and so I want to start tonight in chapter Luke or yeah Luke chapter 23 verse 34. In these next two scriptures that I'm going to read to you, I want you, I want to counteract some of the thoughts that might be going on in your mind that you don't know what they've done to me, that it it is the worst of the worst. So I want to counteract that with when our thoughts say we can't, when we're in the word and we're actually looking at our redeemer, we know that we can. So our thoughts a lot of times will tell us that we can't do stuff. So tonight, I want you to see that you can forgive. So in Luke chapter 23, verse 34, and write these down because it's the truth that we know that sets us free. Jesus is on the cross at this point. And they had done some really hard things to our Christ. And it says, while they were nailing Jesus to the cross, he prayed over and over. And this is the Passion's translation. He prayed over and over, Father, forgive them, for they don't know what they are doing. Acts chapter 7, verse 59 through 60. This is where Stephen was being martyred. And it says, As they hurled stone after stone at him, Stephen prayed, Our Lord Jesus, accept my spirit into your presence. And he crumbled to his knees and he shouted in a loud voice, O oh Lord, don't hold this sin against them. Jesus was a man of his word. If he said it, then he lived it. In Luke chapter 6, verse 27, this is what Jesus said to his disciples. But I say to you who hear... And I'm going to stop there for a minute because here is a big key in allowing forgiveness to reign in your heart. And if you remember last week, we talked about a verse that says if our hearts are hardened, then it's going to be a hard place to receive. And so hearing, being able to hear the Lord speak his heart to you and speak his heart to you for others is a big key in allowing forgiveness to reign in your heart. So Jesus says to his disciples, he says, But I say to you who hear, love your enemies, and do something wonderful for them in return for their hatred. Rather, love your enemies and continue to treat them well. When you lend, don't despair if you're never paid back, for it's not lost you will receive a rich reward, and you will be known as true children of the Most High God, having his same nature. 
Be like your father who is famous for his kindness to heal even the thankless and the cruel. Overflow with mercy and compassion for others just as your heavenly father overflows with mercy and compassion for all. We as born again believers have the very nature that Christ has. Last week, we talked about spirit, soul, and body. In our spirit is where God has placed his very nature at on the inside of us when we are born again. And like I said earlier, I want to counteract those thoughts tonight with I can't forgive. If you are born again and you have Jesus Christ living on the inside of you, you can forgive. Allow that to sink into your heart. Start hearing yourself say, my nature is new. I can forgive because Christ forgave. Okay, On our own, we'll never be able to forgive, not truly forgive. But in Christ, that's where we're going to be able to forgive. So 2 Corinthians Chapter 5, verse 17, and I'm going to read this out of the New King James Version. And it says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Your old nature passed away when you got born again. You got a new nature now, and it is the nature of Christ. Behold, all things have become new. Now all things are of God who has reconciled us to himself through Jesus Christ and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. That is, that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not imputing their trespasses to them, and has committed to us the word of reconciliation. That is your new nature. So we can no longer say we can't forgive because we can forgive. The word says it. If we're focused on God's heart, we're going to be just like him. And that's what he set out to do was to forgive the world. John three sixteen says, we all know this verse, that God gave his only begotten son for us. For us, so that we wouldn't have to perish, but have everlasting life. We are in Christ. He is in us. And forgiveness is a part of our new nature. And we have to make that decision, though, that we are going to be just like Christ. Because he is on the inside of us. Galatians 5, through 23 says, But the fruit of the Spirit, the results of his presence within us, is love, unselfish concern for others, joy, inner peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control against such things. There is no law. So, this is your new nature. This is your true identity that you are able to love and forgive. And remember, God wants you set free from unforgiveness. It's for you so that you can be free, that you don't have to carry the baggage, the baggages that come along with unforgiveness. He wants you free so that you're able to serve and worship him on purpose. God loves us. He wants us free from unforgiveness. And I'm just going to speak a word over you that if there's anyone out there that is surrounded by this dark cloud of unforgiveness, God in Genesis spoke light. And I am speaking light to you in the name of Jesus that you are letting go of this and you are trusting your father to take care of you and to know that he loves you and he's going to protect you through this. So allow him right now to speak to your heart that he loves you and that he is able to help you get through this. So this is all I got for you guys. I bless you and I thank you for your time. Thank you.